Good morning, everyone. Beth here from Corner Piece Studio. I just want to say hi and welcome to anybody that's here, whether you are just passing through, a new subscriber, or you've been here for a while. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all your support. And please, if you like what you see here, um, like and subscribe, please, so you can see more content that I have coming out. Uh, so today, I'm here to show you what I created from a sim simple used book. It's a classic from Charles Dickens, The Old Curiosity Shop. Um, you go to my community page, you'll see a snapshot of it before I did anything to it. Now I'm going to show you what I did with it. And the reason I did um the reason I did repurpose this book was because when I opened the cover of it, it the book block was separating from the spine. And it was going to go to the book chomper. So I wanted to save it. I wanted to save the papers, the pages from it, and I wanted to save the covers and repurpose it, give it a new life. And that's what I did. I created a cinch book. I love my cinch machine. Um, if you go back in my videos, you'll see how I use it. Um, I will try and um, attach one of those videos to this. So what I did was, the first thing I did is I removed the book block. Okay, I want to show you what I'm talking about. I'm getting a different book. The book block is this, the pages, the book pages. And when you remove the book block from a book, you pull out the, le the covers and you pull this out a little bit and you see a space in there you run your knife right down along there very carefully because if you go too dark deep and too hard you're going to cut your spine this book I don't want to cut the spine on it so I'm very careful with it this one this this one the spine um, it's okay I wanted to make a cinch book out of this one so I kept the spine for it's in the other room I kept the spine, and here's a spine off another book. I kept the spine, I'm going to make, I can make bookmarks with the spines. So you repurpose the pieces of the book. And as you can see, I like classics. I like the classic books, the older books. This one's Rebecca, this one's a curiosity shop. This one's a children's book called Honey Bunch and Norman. So you, you end up cutting that down and pulling it out. And um, you can save the pages to use within the book, which I've done with a few of them. You can save the pages to use in other projects, other books, other creations. Um, you make um, hidden bookmarks. You can make bookmarks. You can make tags. Any number of things. You can use it as ephemera. You can use it to cover something. Anything you want. Okay, so what I did is I removed the book block. I cut the whole, I um, covered, I um, cut the spine off the book. And then I used a sanding block and sanded my edges, these edges, once I removed the spine. They were a little bit rough, not bad. Then I covered it with um, washi tape. I put a, uh, a coordinating washi tape on it. Put glue on your tape first because you want to be sure the washi tape sticks. Washi tape is a temporary thing. If you want it permanent, you need to put, use glue with it. Then I punched my holes and got my papers together and cinched it. So we're going to do a flip through and the cup corners are, do have book corners on them, the front and the back to preserve. I think these corners were coming apart a little bit. They were a little frayed, so I wanted to make it so they didn't fray anymore. And you, I do put glue, because you can see the edge is worn here on the bottom of the book. 
so the corners were a little warm. Um, you put glue on that to help hold them on once you um, cinch them on with pliers. So, okay, here we go. Let's go for a little flip through here. I put down a nice coordinating paper on here when I was before I put any of this together. I put a nice coordinating paper on it. There's a little tag on here. This book belongs to, and whomever purchases this book can put their name to it. I used some different papers in here. I used watercolor paper. I used uh, drawing paper. I used uh, black watercolor paper. And I used some brown paper bag. So let's go through. I give you various surfaces. This is an art journal. It could be a junk journal, it could be whatever you want, but being that there's all these different sorts of art paper in here, I, I consider this one an art journal. Okay, I deckled the edges on some of them when I ripped it. What I like to do is I like to keep a piece of the book with the covers somewhere in the journal I make, just to keep the book spirit with with it as long as it's if it's one of my uh, classics or things like that if it's a really strange book off a shelf or whatever and I just want to use the covers I'll just use the covers if there's cool pictures in there I might keep a picture or two or use some words or or use those papers for other things um, gluing and then tearing them off it's just a whole bunch of different things you can use a book page book uh, block for maybe I'll do a video on it Okay, so let's go through here. This is a watercolor page. This is the first page in the book, The Curiosity Shop by Charles Dickens. And I found a couple pictures. I tore them and glued them to the words. If the person wants, they can paint over this. They, they can glue over it. They can do whatever they want to the page. I just wanted to include part of the book with it. This is drawing paper. Here's a piece of paper bag. It has a flip out to it. See how nicely these turn, and the reason I like this for an art journal or any journal really, the cinching it stays nice and flat. But sometimes I don't want that separation, so I won't do that. I'll just sew in my signatures. But this is okay because sometimes, as an art journal, you might want to turn it this way. So, okay, brown paper bag, some more drawing paper. I made a couple flip ups. And here I also made a little pocket with a tag in it. You can decorate tag. This tag has um, bed sheet to it. It was a tea dyed bed sheet. And that's what's there. So it just, it alternates paper. Oh, I even did put some writing paper in here, lined paper. So you can draw on that. You can write on it, whatever you choose. Glue on it. So that's this. There's just it just alternates. Up oh, here's another flip out with a pocket and a tag that can, is used. I just need to trim that a little bit to make it work better. If you have an issue like this, what you can do is you can put a you can use your bone folder. You can use, so I'm using this uh, cardboard knife. I'm just going in there and I'm going pushing more towards the sides to open up the edge of the pocket. Because sometimes your glue over, see there we go. Your glue overdoes itself. And you need to make it slide a little more easily. So you just put your either your bone folder, I'm using this wooden knife, and I'm going using the back edge of it, not the cutting edge of it. And I'm just pushing it over and ungluing some of it. Because when you use liquid glue, it has a tendency. There we go. It opens your pocket better. Okay, here we are. Here's another piece of paper bag. Paper bag is so cool to paint on and draw on and, and write on. So there's a whole bunch of different 
items. Here's another piece of paper bag. And then in the back is my business card. Here's, here's a thing of different things you can do with a journal, glue book, stickers, papers, journal your thoughts, draw, paint, add quotes, make lists, doodles. There's no wrong way to create in one of those. Whatever your heart feels, you do. Here's some more tags if you want. You decorate it and glue it in, whatever you choose. Here's a, a card that you can write on. I did put a library pocket with library card in here and some more extra pieces of watercolor paper that can be as just a single small piece of art or you can create um, a flip up by taping this on and flipping it up folding it and gluing it as a uh, another pocket or a flip up whatever whatever the um, artist chooses to do with this and my business card is in there and my name so and then there's it cinched so it won't come apart and close it so there is my art journal that I made from the old curiosity shop book. So I want to thank you so much for being here just to watch the short video as to how that book turned out. Like I said, if you want to see the book before it's cut, go to my community tabs page to see the photo of this book. And then, um, I want to thank you so much for being here today. If you like what you saw, Please like and subscribe so you can see some of my future content that's coming. I'm going to be doing a giveaway sometime soon. Please keep an eye out for that because this is my 100th video that I have made so far from being, being here on YouTube. So I want to do a small giveaway. Uh, please pay attention and keep eyes out for it. It will be coming up in the next week or two as to what I'm going to do. So for now, you all have an awesome day. Happy Monday. And I will see you again. Take care now. Bye.